You can also check the geometries in QGIS to see if your topological rules are enforced. For example, you have Avon or parcel boundaries, property boundaries um, in your screen here, as well as a road network. For the roads, for example, will have to interlink in some way. The parcel boundaries may not overlap because you can't have two properties that occupy the same space. This is not possible. You'll have very unhappy owners if that is the case. So you can check for this. There are multiple ways to do this in QGIS. Slightly different to ARC, you also have multiple tools. One of the things you can do is use the topology checker. This will evaluate your layers and tell you where errors are. You can't actually then automatically fix those errors using this tool, but it will, is the starting point that you can work with. So you have to tell the, the topology checker which rules to check for. For example here, I'm looking at the boundaries of my properties, my parcels, and I can say that they must not overlap because they shouldn't. I can say OK and then I can validate the topology and it will tell me where my errors are. I can then zoom to these and it will give me additional information. For example, I have I can recheck just for the visible extent to see where my potential errors are as well. You'll have to investigate a bit further to see what the actual error is. Now they're all listed here in your topology checker. But if you look at this particular parcel here, now if you identify it, there are two parcels and they're overlying each other. And that actually goes against the rules that I said parcels may not overlap. So I can look at these and this particular parcel here is has the number 7000266 forward slash r forward slash 4. If I go to the other one, you'll see that it's actually the same parcel. So one of these boundaries is incorrect. Looking at the underlying parcel, it's probably this one, 1607, that is an incorrect entry and not that one. So what you can do is you can simply remove it from your data set. You go into editing mode and you open your attribute table that allows you to see which of these parcels you're actually working with or interested in. So I'm now looking for 1607. That's the one that I'm interested in with an object ID of 17972. I can also, of course, identify it. It would be that one there. So the topmost one. You can have a look at which ones of these features it actually is. And here my two features are actually selected. As you can see, they're exactly the same and this is a duplicate. So you're interested in the one that lies on top, not the one that lies underneath. So it would be this one and you can simply just delete it to remove it from the data set. Once you've done that, you can then, you would have basically fixed the topology of this in this particular instance. So you would stop your editing and you can go back to your view to see if there are any errors there and you can see that that big error now is no longer present. That is one of the ways of fixing topology using the editing interface. Another method is to actually use the digitizing properties of your feature itself. You can set topological rules or checking in there. It is the digitizing option right at the bottom. You can, for example, check for the geometry and see if there's anything overlapping. And you'll have to also, again, be in a digitizing or editing session to do this. You can, of course, really do anything you like in these sessions. It's entirely up to you. For example, you can add one in. And uh, you can decide what you're going to do. 
For example, move the vertices. And when you're done, it'll ask you, do you want to save yours? And you can see that there are errors and ask you to save them. So that's another way of checking for topological errors. We'll discard the errors here because they weren't very good digitizing efforts. And then the final one would be to use the GRASS plugin where you have to create a separate um, folder to do an clean, a clean on the, topolo the, er the layer that contains the errors. You use the tools, you run it, and it should theoretically, based on the rules that you have, check your topology for you. But that is beyond the scope of this particular practical. And that is how you can check for topology and fix topology using the topology checker and the editing function in QGIS.